Welcome class of 2020 to the first ever online Appalachian commencement. Tonight, I look at all of your virtual faces and see one thing, perseverance. Against all odds, each and every one of us has gotten here by our own volition and hard work. I hope that you are all as excited as I am to be the first Appalachian online graduation class. It is an honor to be alone together with you all. And as we continue this virtual ceremony, know that I could not be prouder of my fellow 2020 graduates. Good evening, Wildcats, families, and friends. My name is Kelly Ike, and it's my honor to be the valedictorian for such a special graduating class here at Appalachia High School. To begin, I would like to thank our families for supporting us in our weakest moments. I would like to thank my parents specifically for pouring love and support into me when I needed them the most. I would like to thank my sisters, Anna and Rachel, for pushing me out of my comfort zones and into the woman that I am today. And I would like to thank you, the class of 2020, for sticking together through the challenges of high school, particularly during our times apart from each other. We have proven our resilience in the chaos of the past few months. In all honesty, I don't know what to say about the past few months, except that I will not let it define my high school experience. The 12 years leading up to this moment do not suddenly lose their meaning because we've been forced apart. Instead, we should take this time to reassess their value. During our time apart, I've thought a lot about the high point of my senior year, when in February, I accomplished one of my longest standing goals, running the Disney Princess Half Marathon. I'd been training for the race for a little under four years. My mom and I had planned to run the 5K, 10K, and half marathon together as a part of my senior trip. Unfortunately, the diagnosis of a benign brain tumor and the resulting surgery prevented her from running the half marathon with me. It also made my training much more difficult because she was not able to push me. As a result, when the half marathon finally arrived, I genuinely did not believe I could make it. 13.1 miles is a long way, if you didn't know. To be clear, I ran a 5K and a 10K in the two days leading up to the marathon, half marathon. Yet, all I could think about was how I should have trained harder. I wouldn't be able to finish. I'd never run the full 13 miles in my training. Those doubts almost cost me the race before it had even really begun. I'm not going to lie, at mile six, I debated sitting down and waiting for someone to come pick me up. Doubling the distance of the previous day was crippling mentally. By mile eight, I couldn't think of anything except that I had to keep going. I could not quit when I was over halfway done. Everyone will tell you that mile eight of a half marathon is the hardest mile in the whole race. But despite the mental and emotional fatigue, your body stops straining for a short distance. It just keeps moving, falling into the, motion, the rhythm of motion, pushing towards the finish line. And as you reach that final mile, cast members and other strangers line the edges of the path, cheering you on and shouting support. The commotion and sudden surge of support causes your spirits to lift. And even though you are one of just many people to hear those words, they matter. Though thousands of people have crossed ahead of you, and though many people will cross behind you, crossing the finish line and collecting your medal fills you with an incredible sense of accomplishment. That satisfaction and pride is uniquely yours. High school is a little bit like running a half marathon. As we dive into freshman year, we all wish we'd come more prepared. Doubts and insecurity rise to the forefronts of our minds. Who are our friends? Where are our classes? What club should we join? But we try to make the best of the experience because supposedly high school will be some of the best years of our life. Sophomore year is a little like mile six and that we're not quite halfway there. And despite all the work we've put in, it can be exhausting to imagine the distance left to travel. Monotony and struggle makes you imagine just quitting, but you keep pushing through for the satisfaction awaiting you at the end. And then before you know it, you've made it to junior year, mile eight, arguably the toughest year of high school as the fatigue of, high school ex of the high school experience and the stress of looking towards the future converge, leaving you crippled with fear that you won't make it after you've already made it so far. Those next few miles can seem impossible, but your body knows the routine and maintains the course towards that finish line. And by the time you reach the home stretch, there are people celebrating with you that you don't even know. At that point, you join the collective group of people finishing the race, 
graduating high school, seniors as we call ourselves. Senior year, that final stretch, is special because of the surge of excitement we feel at making those final memories together. And as we finally cross that finish line tonight, that moment will be uniquely ours. There will never be another class like the class of 2020 at Appalachie High School. These next few minutes belong to us to celebrate and commemorate not just graduating, but the past four years and the mark we've made here. Every one of us has had a different journey up to this point, but tonight we cross this stage to receive almost identical diplomas, part of the collective group. People have been walking across this stage for years before us, and they'll continue to walk after we've crossed it. But this moment means something special to each of us, something no one will ever be able to describe for you. So wear your medal with pride. Carry your diploma with pride, as I do. Just like during my half marathon, I'm honored to have taken this journey beside people who are stronger than I am and among people that see me as strong. So please, find your next marathon, or even a full marathon. Find that next goal and let the journey teach you about yourself. And when you reach it, whatever it is, remember the feeling that comes along with it because when we push ourselves and accomplish our goal, we may become exhausted by the process, but in the morning, we feel ready to conquer the next task. Thank you and good night. When we started this journey together, we saw the world as the child sees the lamb. Now, after all our trials and unanticipated roadblocks, we can finally see the world as William Blake sees the tiger. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare he aspire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart began to beat, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer, what the chain, and what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what dread grasp dare its deadly terrors clasp? When the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears, did he smile his work to see? Did he who made the lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night, what immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry? In the words of former President Barack Obama, we did not come to fear the future, we came here to shape it. We all encounter different struggles in this world, but with the knowledge we gain from overcoming and moving forward with those struggles, we change and the world around us. Thanks to our teachers who have stuck to our side, who have helped us achieve this new milestone of our lives. You made sure we never gave up, made sure we did our best work, and made sure we prepared for the future. Thanks to your efforts, the future can fear the class of 2020 and watch us shape it for the better. Today, we end one chapter of our lives and begin our next into becoming future leaders of this world. We were born during a time of panic and we're graduating in a time of panic, but that's not going to stop us from aiming high and of achieving our goals and dreams. This is our major achievement that we have worked hard for and we will open many doors for opportunities for us. Our journey to shape the future will not be easy. There will be many obstacles and we'll feel like giving up but we must continue to push forward to build our future, making each decision with our best interests in mind. Let's not lose our hope during this time and let's remain strong. We have made it this far and nothing will stop us from moving forward to greater things. We'll never forget the memories created here as we graduate with our heads held high, with opportunities in our hand and our legacy shining the way. Good evening, Appalachie High School community. Although we are not physically together, your presence is felt and valued during this virtual celebration. Your commencement, class of 2020, your graduation day. Parents and guests, you are the reason we experience the honor of teaching. You shared with us your children from a young age and we watched them grow, becoming the young men and women we are celebrating this evening. Your gift to us is a gift to our community, our nation, and our world. Teachers, you are heroes. I do not think you are told enough. What you influence, what you produce, what you mold, that is what flies off into the universe, impacting the way it is shaped and developed. During this time of uncertainty, you have come together to bring hope to each child you impact. 
Collectively, you bring hope to the world, and I could not be prouder to work alongside the Appalachian High School faculty and staff. You will always be remembered for your persistence, dedication, and love, but most importantly, your message of encouragement to finish strong and with pride to each of your students. Graduates, the first day of school is glass clear in my memory. We opened with a class of 2020 picture, a college fair, a message of perseverance, and frankly, an overconfidence that the 20th anniversary of our school would make us invincible. We found out, and pretty quickly, the class of 2020 was not going to experience everything exactly as those before us. Homecoming, with all its beautiful red sky glory, quickly turned to dark clouds, rain, and high winds. Our homecoming court and the many who gathered to celebrate our school's 20th anniversary scurried while our football team huddled in the field house. We were not going to experience the glory the way history intended us crowning our 20th homecoming queen. But the dance the next night? That was something to remember. I recall my heart bursting with pride and satisfaction as I watched more seniors than I ever have move from one side of the gym to the other in beautiful motion and harmony. No one will ever share what the class of 2020 has seen and been a part of, a part of history. It will be another 100 years or more before the world stops again, taking away the perceived hopes of the youth. But you, the graduates of 2020, the class of 2020, the monumental youth of 2020, you will emerge and you will dance. You will dance and change the world. You will always remember that one day things could change, but that one day you will then become the change makers. I believe in each of you and I know you will swarm the world with your perseverance. Class of 2020, we pulled t-shirts over our heads back in August, remembering our 20th anniversary as a school, but also reminding ourselves that perseverance is the only way one can achieve notability. I am proud to have weathered this alongside you. I am proud to call you alumni of Appalachie High School. And so, class of 2020, Dr. McMichael and members of the Barrow Bo County Board of Education, it is an honor to present to you the members of the class of 2020 as candidates for graduation. I hereby certify that the class of 2020 has met all requirements prescribed by the Barrow County School System, as well as the Georgia Department of Education. Each candidate is eligible to receive this distinction. Thank you, Ms. Martin. It's an honor to be here celebrating virtually with you all. I'd first like to thank all the parents and family members participating with us this evening for partnering with us over the years and trusting us with the education of your children. I also want to thank all the outstanding teachers and staff of Appalachia High School for your hard work and long hours helping these soon-to-be graduates earn their way to this day. You have gone above and beyond what would be expected in a normal year, and we all deeply appreciate that. And I have no doubt that due to your guidance and diligence, they are extremely well prepared for the future roads that they will travel. To the members of the graduating class of 2020, on behalf of everyone associated with the Barrow County School System, I simply want to say we are proud to send each and every one of you out into the world as graduates of our school system. You are the future of Barrow County, the state of Georgia, and of these great United States of America. As you move on into the next phase of your lives, always move forward and live your lives boldly. To say that the circumstances that we have found ourselves in these past few months have been difficult and emotional is an understatement of grand proportions. All of you have weathered the storm and risen to the challenge in a truly amazing way. You have literally made history. No one will ever forget the class of 2020. You will always hold a special place in all of our hearts. And now, on this honorable occasion, by the authority vested in me by both the State Board of Education of Georgia and the Barrow County Board of Education, I declare you all graduates of Appalachia High School. Congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs>